In this anxiety, I am not shaking like a leaf the way everyone assumes the anxious do. I am shaking like San Francisco in April 1906. The naive say, my disorder is all in my head. I invite them to pay for an x-ray across my body so they will be able to see the fallen telephone poles lodged between my windpipes and the rubble in my small intestines that bloody prayers try to walk through barefoot. It was last year that I kissed a boy while in the middle of having a panic attack. Our mouths met with mine full of stained glass that cracked across his teeth like a steel baseball bat. When he looks at me now, all he sees is a girl that has been stuffed with decay. And since my diagnosis, my body has become a lake with scattered inhales and interrupted exhales swimming along my bones. In a dream last night, a man was in a boat that glided across the tidal pools in my belly. He tried to fish my breathing out with just the moon and some bent up wire. And when I began to drown within myself, my rapid pulse pulling me down, he threw a paper bag at me, thinking that its frail buildup would help me gain an average heartbeat again. But these days, I don't hear my heart beating anymore. I just hear teeth chattering, not in my mouth. I think a jaw unhinged itself around those precious tissues. So when I hear those teeth chattering, those molars clicking, and those incisors biting, I realize I don't want to be a lake anymore. I don't want to be shattered glass across the pavement, shattered glass that only rises during earthquakes. So here I stand, promising change. This is my communion right in front of all of you. Blessed be me. Blessed be this anxiety disorder that has given me so much pain, yet so much strength. Blessed be the telephone poles in my throat and the rubble in my guts. I will get to you soon. Blessed be this body, once called war ground, now called armor. Blessed be this new beginning. Blessed be me. Blessed be me. Woo!